everybody. Friday morning. A little after seven. I'm heading out. First time I've fished a morning bite in a while. Uh, I'm gonna go looking around deeper water for walleyes. Uh, just heading out of the river now. <coughs> You know, I don't, I don't say too much about a lot of things, at least not publicly. Well, privately with my wife, it's one thing, you know. Um, my neighbors and the people close to me that, that know me well, I, I open up to. I tend to be a little guarded when it comes to things. Uh, you know, I, last night was the, was the presidential debate. I think it's easy to say, you know, you hear a lot of people say, oh, I'm so tired of this. I'm really tired of this. I'm really, really tired of the political system that we have currently in our country. Um, I've never seen, I'm sure it's always been around, but I've never seen it like this to where Americans are openly rooting against other Americans. You know, like they, it's either one side or the other. It's a, it's an all or nothing proposition. There's two teams and you got to pick one. And then there are some people that don't, but, but, but ultimately you, you, you end up being forced into making a decision one way or another. And I'll tell you that nothing, nothing, Nothing. This is directly from my book, uh, and this is a direct quote. Nothing is ever any one thing all the time. I don't care if that's a person, place, thing, whatever. You know, and so there's, there's not any one part of either side that's all good all the time or all bad all the time. And so if that, if you, if you follow that train of thought, then, then that means that it, we should naturally have some level of compromise if those people, our elected leaders, understand that principle that you have to compromise because no one's ever right and no one's ever wrong all the time. <coughs> And it makes me insane. And, and this election is for half the people. Half the people in this country. I don't know how many elections have been 51, 49, or right in that very similar situation. But it leaves half the American people hanging out to dry. Feeling un, you know, unrepresented, feeling like it doesn't matter feeling like no one gives a crap about them. A lot of times that turns to anger, bitterness, jealousy, hatred. I don't see anything good coming out of it. You know, and I watched those two grown, adult, elderly men last night talking back and forth at each other. And you know, it strikes me, I, I, I don't trust either one of them. I'd like to, I'd like to, I would really like to. I would love to be able to trust someone in one of those positions. That, and, and, and what does that mean to me? To me, that means trust them to make decisions that are good for us. Us. And the us in that, in that sentence, is not just the us that voted for that one person. To make policies and, and, and situations that benefit us as a country as a whole. I'm tired of Americans rooting against Americans to lose. I'm tired of the discourse. There are issues. Sure, of course there are issues. I'm not an idiot. I'm not naive. Yes, there are issues. Absolutely. 
there's always been issues. Courtney jokingly said to me last night, well, maybe it's time to, to pack up and move to another country. And I go, what country would that be? Where could you, as an American, where could you possibly move to that's better? The answer is nowhere. The answer is nowhere. So what does that mean? That means we roll up our sleeves and we figure things out here in our country. And I understand the concepts you know, I, I, I read the Communist Manifesto when I was a kid in high school because it, it the, the, the theory of it in my head in a, from 30,000 feet was like, oh, that seems really humanitarian, uh, honestly. That, that, that the whole works and equally divides their work to the whole. And that everyone is taken care of on some level. Unfortunately, human nature doesn't allow that to happen. It, it goes against, I mean, we live in a free country, theoretically. Um, your rights, our rights can be taken away in the blink of an eye. We've seen, we've seen just a precursor to that in the last six months. Um, you know, and that's, it's based in fear. It's based in fear 99% of the time. Fear. Uh, so I don't, I don't, this is not me sharing my political views because I don't have political views anymore. This is not me saying, you know, uh, vote, vote for Biden, vote for Trump. Because I, I, I don't care what you do. I don't, I don't care one way or another. I care if you vote because that's essential. And only then can we be fully represented and participate in what we have here. But I don't care one way or another. You know, I, uh, it's beyond that. And I'm not rooting against half of the citizens of this country to lose so I can be on the winning side and, and feel superior to someone else for a short amount of time or for four years or whatever. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not going against my fellow man, my fellow American. I was in the military. I did my time. I never had to fight, thank God. Thank God. But if I did, I would have been shoulder to shoulder with brothers in arms of every size, shape, color, creed, religion. We were all there. No, it wasn't utopia. No, everybody didn't get along every second of the day. But when the shit hit the fan, we all knew that we had each other's back. Boy, we need more of that now in this America. We can do things and we can have... Our politicians have the ability to talk to us people and to say without fear of I don't want I don't want what I do to, to look favorable on somebody from the other side or vice versa so I'm not going to do it purposely I'm going to sit back and and say oh you know you're the worst or, or you did this wrong or I would have done this then do it then do it then open your mouth and if you have a if you have the solution to a problem, to me, it's your civic duty as an American to tell whoever it is what your idea is, if it's going to work, and implement it. So from my house to the bridge, it's 9 minutes and 30 seconds, and I'm coming under it right now. And look at that amazing... sunrise up there in front of me we're gonna drive right up off to it we're gonna go catch some fish and I'm done talking there are better ways to do things folks and I implore every single one of us to embrace 
each other, the ideals of our country. the love that we have inside each other for ourselves because if you don't like and love this right here whatever comes out isn't going to be good and that's the truth all right i'm going fishing i love you keep your tip up